Wouldn't be a good map when you're trying to take on these Titans. Well, only time's going to tell if FBX have got what it takes to bring this across the line. I just want a massive shout out to Zipan for not picking oh. Phoenix like they did versus Skate. That yep. would give me a, an aneurysm, so I'm very happy that he's just sticking <laughs> down at what he's good at. Uh, as we look at what he's good at, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, headshot. Now, Zipan, right? Obviously, his, his Twitter has just blown up massively because everyone is uh, amazed by the breach flashes. That's what you were alluding to there, Mitch. For G2 right now, 3v5, and I don't think any amount of flashes will help them with this one. Harley's trying to sneak his way in, but he's going to have to back away from that. Isn't caught by it, which is a solid push for him. Might be able to try and sneak around, but the paranoia comes out. He can't see anything. Get Angel's just doming heads everywhere he goes. Now we're going to see FPX go on the hunt. They want to get these last two kills in, and David P's hoping someone might fall for his trap. Got the shorty in hand. He's looking to do some serious damage. It's Angel who's going to meet first, but he's got backup from Shadow as well. And this is what is fifth. Being Try and nade me. Wait, that's adding a whole next level skill mechanic to the game. Oh, okay. They've spotted now that there's at least three players on C. They seemingly still want to challenge it. And it's going to go their way. But Mixwell, that's huge. He picks up three kills and he's given them an opportunity. The force up could be working out for him. Spike will go down, and FPX, they've really got to make some magic happen here. Shadow's got to upgrade to the Bulldog, but is the Bulldog going to be enough? They're trying to check their corners as Ardis is going to go and get as much information as possible with both players showing, and the fact that Angel doesn't have a weapon here, this is scary, but he's the headshot machine continuing. The flashes come out towards him. He's going to back away from the first one. The second delivers. He's trying to turn. He's trying to make it happen. He's trying to keep some cover going on as well, but there's just too many players around him. G2 get it done. And now we're looking at 1-1. One, one. David P. Ever harassing those back lines. And he's around the side, but he's missed the shots. That was a little bit dangerous. A petit peu dangereux, as he would say. But he's able to get out of there safely. Duck away into the alley. And he's not running for the hills. Even against pistols, this man's still staying aggressive. And on the breach, he constantly does this. How many times do we see him get aggressive on breach? We saw it last time around, and now he's got Ardis to back him up. The confidence really hates that everyone pointed it out in the first place. It's a little <laughs> shaky leg. Uh, it's a dance for Ryan, and right now, David P might be dancing into a lot of fire. He's going to have to back away, but he can't escape that. FPX now going to go for the full charge ahead. Padatek, you can hear what's going on, but there's not much he can do about it. Good shot darts going up here. And G2, they're struggling to gain control of this site. FPX, still with five players alive, is looking real good for them. Mixwell and Piff came late to the party. Oh, and they just can't see anything. The smokes continue to go down. Yeah, save time. Yeah, definitely. Time to back out of there. There's nothing else you can really do in this situation. And for G2, yeah, it's a... It's not going to be upsetting. It's not going to be too deflating, really. They've come into this half with at least a little bit of power. But I think they'll be upset that they haven't managed to take any weapons away from FPX. That's really where the downside of this round lies. Now Mixwell. He's got backup from Piff here. Trying to find an opportunity. And straight away deals with Zipham. That's a big scalp to take. FPX trying to fire back through the doors. Cage is going to go out as well, which is perfect for just backing away from. No extra information going to be had there as Angel deals away with the dart. But the control that G2 have now is huge. Instant reply from Mixer. Put the smoke down. Angel trying to tap away through it. Oh no, a lot of damage goes out towards the breach. That's less than ideal. Shadow got tagged up heavily. The rest of G2 can fall back and... Okay, some damage has gone towards Mixwell, but they've still got the numbers in their favor. Oh, no, Angel, you're not checking it. They're too busy getting ready for the setup, and they don't even have a chance to get set up. The same thing happens to Shadow, and it's all going in favor of G2. Shao's trying to soften it up and even up the numbers. But it's a little bit too late now. The time is just running out. You're never getting in there. No, there's no way. Saving over these weapons is the only way that FPX find any sort of success out of this round. And again, another good answer back by G2. I feel like, oh, that's a risk. An interesting conversation to me, and I guess we'll, we'll find out what side FPX are in terms of the trading back rounds argument.
if they can keep themselves in it. Because to me, it feels like G2 are just moments away, rounds away from just Ooh. running away with it. And what's David P doing there? He's running forward, flashing as he goes. But luckily, no charges pressed against him. He's able to just bail on back towards the A site and even rotating further over towards B. He loves to get aggressive, but Palatex also getting aggressive and... So he won't be able to do much from here. Mixwell right on the edge of the smoke. Oh, straight in with a knife. Oh, wow. Nice use of the paint there. A lot of damage done to David P. Now, Sardis needs to try and even up these numbers a bit. He starts to see the push coming through. Luckily, Mixwell's already decided to rotate over. Angel coming in with a teleport, and he's gone up high. He's going to jump straight down, but into the clutches of Ardis. It's a straight refrag coming in there, but Angel, you don't want to give away opportunities like that. Well, we're now in a spot in a 2v4 retake that I don't even expect the CG2 moving towards this site. Although they are walking on forward, that drone's already cleared out this angle, but they're still watching it. Zipan was cautious on one for one trades. Are they still going for this? Patatek wants the 1v3. He thinks he can win it. He's had to back away after the flash, and it looks like that is going to be the end of his run at the retake. Although I, th I still feel like they stuck around maybe a little bit too long. <laughs> he was hoping someone might overextend or poke on into it. But not this time around. FPX are trying to play it as smart as possible. They know how difficult it is to deal with G2's attack inside on this map. They've seen many teams on the receiving end. Usually a very proactive and very early aggressive team. Shells went out, but didn't find anything. Angel pushed up. It's a back and forth battle. A lot of G2 have already got themselves into the site, but is it even going to be enough? They're trading out, and Shao looks to deliver some more. David P wants to sneak up on it. The spike only just about to be planted. Mixos hoping to be given an opportunity. They're ready and waiting for this push to come through. Nice positioning from Meadow there. Oh! I'd be cautiously optimistic if I was FPX about how that previous round went. Yeah, FPX are really on this position right now, though, of like, we want to play G2 has to play against guesses, you know? Like, which way are we going to go? What's going to happen? Nice, he's done from Shao with the Hunter's Fury. Goes in to try and tag up another one, but the destruction continues. They've got themselves into the A site. The spike's going to be planted. They've been met with very little resistance here. Mixwell's just up in the tower, and even if Palatek's able to find that kill, Mixwell, he needs to find an opening of his own. He can't just push in just yet. Ooh, Zipan, a bit slow to react on that. You don't normally say that about him. Angel still sat in the back lines, and well, that's information for Palatek to play off. He can give that over towards his teammates, so a good use of the ult, at least in that. No success found with the breach ult. Shao looking to face for it, and that could be problematic. If Mixwell can get this kill onto Angel, it's going to be huge. He dashes on out. He's got some backup, and they swing round together. If they can pull this off, it's going to be absolutely huge. But Shadow lands a big shot, and Piff won't have enough time. He has to get the hell out of there. He meant FPX want to up the pace a little bit here, knowing that it's a lesser buy coming out. But Mixwell with the knives could change things up a lot here. Oh, plenty of damage going the way of FBX. This is a huge push in. Full confidence, full force, and G2 don't know what to do. Piff trying to escape. He may have the operator, but he can't get anything done with it. Patatek's all alone. He's got a Spectre at least, but positions now of some of these players. And just the use of smoke we're seeing here from FBX is making this so difficult for G2 to find any success. The onslaught continues, and this time they're going to barrel into the B site. Ardis is pushed away by the paint shells. He can't push onto this just yet. He's got his ult in play, but is it worth going for? Maybe after this kill, there might be a chance for it. He's trying to chime in and find some success, and nicely done. Angel thinks he can sneak on and back in, but it's not going to work out in his favor. They spray down Piff, but Mixwell could easily try and clutch this out. Xiao's trying to get some extra information in play. But that drone went the wrong way. Mixwell now in the 1v2. Oh, Meadow. That timing certainly didn't work out. But Mixwell, he needs to get on this. He needs to get on it fast. Can he even get it to go halfway? He's sat on it for now for the first part. 
does decide to come off this. Yeah, the mix way. Going back to group up towards A. The ult's going to be used. Everything's being committed for this last round, and rightly so. Oh, they're trying to get the information. We'll get it for now, and Piff's able to react on it. This is huge. G2 can start their attempt. They all push into the site. The kills start to go their way. FPX needs to find an answer, and they need to find it now. That's the start of the good. But it could be the end of the bad. Shadow needs to land some key shots. Mixwell swings around the corner. It's a 1v1, and Melo doesn't have much help, but he lands a key headshot. A big... And they're looking to do it for the reverse sweep. From being 2-1 down all the way back up into it in this pistol round. It's a defining factor that Xiao's already underlining the definition. But then he goes down and they close in the distance on the site. Finding every fight along the way. Oh. Finally, an answer is there for <laughs> FPX as they come right back into the game. And put David P in a 1v2. And he takes a lot of damage on the way out. And no abilities to play with anymore here. Until the next after this round. Let's see what G2 can get away with here. Very G2 fast play from David P. But they're very normally that team that go hyper aggressive into the second round, right? You can see the respect Ooh. that they're showing FPX by actually taking into consideration this weaker buy. Seaside under the control of G2 already. They've come in fast and I don't think FPX expected that at all. No chance of them getting the defense up here. And the retakes from the also difficult. Look at the position from G2. That has it confidently up high. David P far down C long. He's got a lot of control. Ooh, just anchored in position. This is a round that they, they definitely need this round. 100% of the time. FPX can't get away with this kind of mix by Meadow straight away through the smoke onto Pad Attack. They're making it costly. Getting back into this round is unlikely considering the time remaining. Oh, oh no. David P's turned into that flash. He heard a noise, didn't realize it was the flashbang. This is possible. They need to go quickly though. I, I don't uh, even think it's possible anymore. No, they, they have to the weapons. Oh, this is One huge. Oh, oh, Shadow. He isn't able to be 12 5. Just to point. be clear, you might have confused some yeah, people. It's not, <laughs> it's not literally a win, but it is figuratively like a 99% if you manage to get oh, that's there. That's a big win. That is that is a big win, but it's traded back straight away. Zipan, he's not going as quietly into the night. And they bail out immediately. They find a kill outside oh. doors. They're just rotating to A. Angel, he's answering up. And he's looking for a little bit more of that paranoia, though. Oh, it's cost his life. So unfortunate for Angel there. So unlucky. He didn't expect someone to be that close. Patatek's very low. Meadow's going to back away from that. Zipan's now got some extra information to play off of here. He's got a good amount of utility to use to push him in. But is it going to be enough? That's the next thing. Patatek is behind him, trying to flank it out. Meta needs to find an opening. There needs to be a way he can strike. Good use of the grenade. Does a hell of a lot of damage, but he can't find the kill. Zipan to finish off David P. Patatek in the back lines. Piff's going to be after one that needs to do some serious damage here. He needs to at least get one kill. And that's exactly what he does. Zipan wasn't checking all the corners, and now he's all alone. FPX right now are challenging them and trying to take them to a fifth map. Four in total have played because G2 had the advantage. The ults are being spent. G2 are trying to find their way into the site. There was early aggression on A, but then they fell back. And now G2, they're starting to wreck face. Shadow. You know, Shadow opened this up. He rocked the world of Patatech, but unfortunately wasn't able to do much more after it. And Zipan, one of the best players in the world. You're ever going to see when it comes to Valorant. Woo! Answer hugely, and he gets it done. Nay down. This could be it. Straight on Woo! three. Forced him in the open. What a round by Zipan and Meadow. The clutch, the defuse, and 11 to 6. Oh, that Sheriff play came through from Front Plus Phoenix. Well, looks like it's time for Liquid to tweet about G2, because that was ridiculous. They faced everything. They just gave every opportunity away. And that round was lost for no other reason than that. Now it's pistols for G2, or should have said, I should say it was pistols. They've retrieved some rifles, and Mixwell's able to answer with one, but that's stun. They're not pushing on the back of it. That would have been perfect. Yeah, a bit of miscommunication, maybe. The drone was going out as well. Art is still only on a pistol. Now he's all alone. It's going to be too much for him to handle. An easy headshot delivered from Shadow, and the 12th round secured. Oh, this is just incredible. I think they've lost a map in, in most grand finals, if not any. 
And yet here we are, where they're in a position oh, where they could genuinely no. be losing. Angel, double opening, Pith and Palatek, they fall like flies. And FPX, they might just be taking us the whole distance, all the way to split. It's certainly possible. It's certainly doable. David P, he's being so cautious. It's just not working out. The May refrag comes in, but they need a little bit more than that. If they want to try and take this round and save onto the map position, Shadow to deal with David P, and now it's all on Ardy.